Yo, what's good with y'all? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a um countdown GUI where it counts down from a certain number and then stops and then when it reaches that like stopping point, it does something like a message appear, or something like that. Yeah. Before we start, I just want to quickly remind you guys about my Discord server. The link is in the description and I have a Roblox group, the link is in the description. You could join the Discord server. You could join just to talk and chill with other people, talk and chill with me. Um actually help with scripting or dev Roblox dev related things in general. Um, actually help help or whatever make suggestions like suggest things for my channel or video suggestions and yeah I accept those in the discord server and yeah so yeah join up link is in the description and stuff and yeah let's get straight into it okay so first of course you're gonna need a GUI so head on over to starter GUI and insert a screen GUI call this your um countdown GUI we'll call it our countdown GUI right then you're gonna insert a frame and this is gonna be your countdown frame right so you can move the frame and put it like well is it, well this part is completely up to you like it, it really is up to you i'll put it up on mine right here right and then i'm gonna click i'm gonna just take this so that it like it doesn't push it down and stuff right so we have our frame um this is all customization you don't necessarily have to do this like you don't have to change the color and all this like, it's completely dependent on like whether or not you yourself want to right i'm just doing this because i want to right so here's my frame then we'll get our countdown text so we're going to call this our countdown text we're going to set the text to nothing at the moment change the change it to source sans bold rich text scale text keep the uh color black um I'll, t I'll make my stroke like an orange have a nice red orange color going then it doesn't need a background oh well, hold on let me because i want to move it put it right there then it doesn't need a background and then yeah okay so we're good there then you guys can make sure you take this to not visible right and then after and then after what we want to do is go into countdown frame not countdown frame go into countdown gy into the text button and then name this button countdown countdown button we'll just call it that we'll have this like right here customize it of course really quickly uh make it like mm, like a dark like a dark gray and then set the text to like click to start countdown right then have it to like source hands source hands italic you keep in mind this is just customization purposes again you guys do not have to do this if you don't want to change obviously we'll change the text color to like white so it's like it's like light right and there we go we're gonna insert a local script call this our countdown script and we are literally almost done countdown script and what we're going to do is script uh, parent mouse button one click when a player clicks the countdown button what we're going to do is script dot parent dot parent dot countdown frame visible set to true then we're going to do a for i is equal to what we're going to do is 15 negative 1 0 you can set 15 to whatever it is like you want the countdown to start at and then like go down because we're counting down right so if you want to start down if you want to start at 30 put 30 instead of 15 you know etc and then if you wanted to count down by like 2 or 3 or 0.1 or something or 0.5 or something then you would change negative 1 or and if you wanted to end at like 5 or 10 or whatever you would change 0 to whatever that value is right whatever that value you wanted to be is so then I'm going to do script dot parent dot parent dot countdown frame you're going to do countdown text dot text is equal to i we're going to put a weight so that it like it doesn't like just go negative one negative like every like every like point point like basically we're putting a delay so it actually counts between one second intervals rather than like just going instantly to zero if that makes sense All right and then what we're going to do is if i is equal to zero this is when the countdown reaches it's like it like it's finished set this to remember set this to whatever you want it to be like 
when it reaches the stopping point, whatever stopping point you choose. So when that happens, then we're gonna change script dot parent dot parent dot countdown frame. I mean, you could just copy and paste what was up there, but yeah, we're gonna change the text to the countdown has finished, right? And then we should be good to go. We click play to test, and then we load. Click to start countdown. As you guys can see, it says 15, and for some reason, it's not counting down, which is weird. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see what it is. I see what it is. My fault, guys. My fault, guys. Zero was supposed to be here, and negative one was on the side. Okay, okay. I had that backwards. Okay. So you have the number you want it to start at. That's your first value. Your second value is where you want the countdown to end, right? And then your third value is how you want it to like decrease or increase, depending on whatever it is you're trying to do. But for this case, we want it to go from count down from 15 to zero. Okay. So there you go. I fixed that. I'm sorry. So yeah, just make sure it's 15 comma zero comma negative one. Then do click to start countdown. And as you can see, now it's counting down 15, 13, 12, yeah, and then it's a one second delay because obviously we want it to wait a second in between. And then once it reaches zero, let's wait. Once it reaches zero, it'll change the text to the countdown has finished. There you go. Just like that. And that's how you make a countdown. If you're wondering why my player is like this or a character or whatever, um, it's because Roblox is having issues and stuff right now. So yeah, that's why. So yeah, though, um, it's pretty simple and stuff. So yeah, as always, if you have any questions, you can join the Discord. The link is in the description. You can just join, ping me, and ask me for help. I have a little channel called Scripting Help. You can just ping me with questions or just help or anything. We can VC if you want. You can screen share, show me what's wrong with your script, whatever. This doesn't just apply to like my scripts. This applies to like anything in general, scripting and stuff. But yeah, though, if you guys need help, join the Discord join the discord and yeah just ask me for help if this video was helpful leave a like subscribe um yeah appreciate this for you guys been showing and uh yeah i'll see y'all appreciate y'all for watching